The hijacked St. Eta had been on the tarmac at the 2K for six hours when Minister Albert Reynolds arrived from Dublin at half eight last night. 50 minutes later, we were told an ambulance was to take a sick woman from the plane. And using this diversion, French paratroops rushed through the rear exits of the plane, overpowering the hijacker. He was questioned by police for half an hour in the airport security office. Then Larry Downey, seen here wearing a blue check shirt, was rushed away in a police van. The attention of the world's press swung to the St. Eta as the passengers, mostly in remarkably good spirits, began to disembark. First on board to greet them was Transport Minister Albert Reynolds. They came in from the rear and the side doors. He didn't notice the lights going on in the cockpit. So they came in from behind here at him and surprised him. He didn't offer any resistance, there was no trouble, and that was it. And nobody was hurt? Nobody was hurt. How long did it take to plan that operation? Do you know? Are we involved in planning it? We knew it was covered. We knew it was going on, yes. Well, did you know before we left Dublin? No. We knew before we arrived. I was in con constant contact on the plane coming over through Dublin and then when we came within range of here, through here. How do you feel about the fact that this hijacking took place in the first place? Well, it's a, it's a rather unusual one. It, it wasn't the hijack as we would normally associate with the hijack. This fella had a, a small bottle of liquid, uh, which he claimed was cyanide. Uh, we don't know yet whether it was or not. He certainly had petrol sprayed over him. And petrol, as you know, will not show up in, uh, on a scanner like other liquids. After eight hours of tension, there was time for the passengers from the St. Eta to relax with some French cooking. Though for some, the shock of their ordeal still remained. I couldn't begin to tell you. I'm so excited and uh, upset that I couldn't remember anything. You, you have but thank goodness we're here. Terry McCormack particularly remembers hijacker Lawrence Downey. When we got on the plane, we sat in the first row of the smoking, and he came on, he sat beside us. He looked like a very prosperous businessman, very well dressed, grey hair, and very tanned. And he sat down, and as we started to take off, he asked Sinead if she'd ever flown before. And she said yes, and I said yes, we go back and forth a lot. And he said she's quite an experienced traveller then. And then he was very polite to us. He had a briefcase, he started reading some notes, and when the drinks came, he passed our drinks. He had brandy and he passed our drinks, and then he smoked a cigar. He just sat there. We didn't suspect anything. And as the captain said we were approaching London, he got up. I thought he'd gone to the toilet, but he came back and went towards the front of the plane. The first time I panicked was when he, when he got the children off, and I thought, God, this guy must be really serious, you know? The specially trained French paratroop unit were worried too as the siege dragged on. Was their eventual charge through the plane a risky operation for the passengers? We don't knew really what he has on him. Perhaps he has something, an explosive system. So it was all a risk? Yes, it, it is all, we have always risk. But in this case, particularly in uh, each action we, we do, we, can, we try to do really rapidly and the, it was uh, the, the, the key of success, and in this case, in two seconds, we caught the man. Uh, merci! <laughs> Happy but tired, the passengers who'd boarded flight EI-164 for London at lunchtime yesterday finally left Le Touquet for the British capital early this morning. For Captain Eddie Foyle and his crew, there were interviews with the French police before they headed for Dublin aboard the St. Eta. The three air hostesses, in fact, went back on duty for the flight to Dublin. Apart from police interviews, there were other formalities to be completed before the Irish party returned to Dublin. Dr. Bill Mulcahy on the flight and the nurse on the flight to London just in case there was any other passengers might want attention, but there's absolutely delight all round. Okay, Dijon, thanks very much. Okay, bye-bye.